Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at enlargement, which is where we're going to take a shape on an XY grid and we're going to enlarge it by a scale factor. They are fairly straightforward, but you will need to download from below, follow the link in the description, you'll need to download the actual worksheet, have a go at it, please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, then compare your solution. If you're not sure about anything, always add a comment below, always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, this is the second video in the playlist where we're looking at now enlargements. So this whole playlist is all about transformations of shapes on XY grids. OK, so we're being asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps shape A on shape B. OK, well, hopefully you can see it's an enlargement. OK, these uh, these type of shapes, it's fairly obvious usually that we're going from a smaller one to a larger one. Now, they're very typically three marks. So the first thing I would do is I would write it's an enlargement. OK, that will get you one mark. Then the second one is we need to uh, state the scale factor. In other words, how much bigger is shape B than shape A, so the scale factor. And the easiest way to work that out is to look at a line. Okay, this is two units across here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in other words, it's gone from two units to eight units, so it is four times bigger. It's a scale factor of four because four times two is eight. OK, so it's a scale factor of four. And then the second, uh, the final thing that you need to find then is what we call the centre of enlargement. Now, this is where you will need a ruler. I hope that you've had the opportunity to download the actual worksheet for itself, but you will need a ruler. So what we do is we say, well, actually, it's a bit like um, using a torch. OK, now you know that light travels in a straight line. So if you're standing somewhere over here and you're shining your torch, it's going to clip the bottom of these shapes here. OK, now the, the harder bit is going to be this one. And I hope I'm going to get this right actually on the video. But if you can imagine, if I then draw a line like that, what I've identified is where I'm actually standing with my torch, which is this particular one. OK, and this is the final mark for you because you need to write um, something like center and we need this coordinate. So it's minus 20. OK, and don't forget each of these is two units. So minus 22. OK, hopefully that's OK for you. That will give you your three marks. They are a little bit trickier, these, but you do need um, you do need to kind of use the worksheet. Have a go at these for yourself, really. OK, and um, and hopefully you'll be OK with them. So let's move on then to question number two. So in large shape A. Um, by scale factor three this time and a centre of minus two nine. So we're basically going to work backwards from the previous question. Let's have a look at where the centre is. So that's going to be minus two nine is here. OK, so that's where I'm standing with my torch and my light beams are going to go out in straight lines. OK, now this is going to be slightly difficult or slight because it's going to look a little bit wrong, I think, to begin with. But if you can imagine what you've got is a straight line. These are called lines of enlargement. OK, so we're going from here along um, just tipping the, the, the tip of that uh, vertex, that corner, and carrying on. Same with this corner and carrying on. Same with this corner and carrying on. OK, so if we're going to go for a scale factor of three, what we basically mean is to get from here, the centre, to here, which let's call it A, we've moved along two units. So actually, scale factor three means we move along six units because three times two is six, so two, four, six. So what we have to do is relate everything back to the center. OK, let's look at this one here. OK, well, it's two units 
um, in the negative direction or south. So two, four, six. OK, so that's going to mean that this one is going to be, if this is B, this is B prime. OK, so now we've got our two N. So we could kind of almost work out where the last point C is going to be. But what I want to do is just for the purposes of this video, sort of demonstrate that because it is important to kind of get these ideas in place because these do get or can be quite complex if you're not careful. So in other words, to go uh, from this point here to uh, from this point here to C, we go along two as a vector and then we go down two as a vector. OK. So let's do exactly the same, but this time we're going to multiply it by three because it's a scale factor of three. So that becomes six over minus six. And that's what we're looking for. OK, so put an equal sign there. So if I go along six and then down six. And what you'll find is if you're doing your job well and you've drawn the lines of enlargements in place, then you'll find that each of these new points will um, sit on the new line or sit on the lines that you drew. OK, so it does look a little bit odd, but hopefully you'll be able to see when I actually put this um, the outside edges into place and draw the outside edges in, it actually looks OK. So there we go. That's the new shape. All right. And that's an enlargement of scale factor three through the center minus two nine. OK, so we're going to use exactly the same principles then with the other ones. OK, so let's have a look. Uh, this one is described fully the single transformation which maps shape A on shape B. OK, so a very, very similar one. OK, now in this particular case, a little bit more complex because, uh, well, it's difficult to see on the grid. But let's have a look and see what we can do. So the first thing is we're going to say A to B is definitely an enlargement. OK, and again, we want the scale factor. OK, so the scale factor, just look at one of the straight lines. It's gone from two to four. So it's just a scale factor of two. OK, and then what we've got to do is we've got to figure out where the center of enlargement is. Now, this might be a little bit tricky, but I'll give it my best shot. OK, so let's have a look and see where we end up. All right. So what we're looking for is the point at which all of these lines cross. OK. Right. And it's going to be this one and I think uh, this one. Now, hopefully that's OK. There we go. All right. So in other words, I'm standing with my torch at this particular point, which is from center. OK. And it's going to be 0, 10. OK, so hopefully that's all right for you and you were able to duplicate that in your own work. OK, so let's have a look then at the final question, which is enlarge uh, shape A by a scale factor of 2 using the centre as minus 4, 0. So again, let's get the centre first. So minus 4, 0 is here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my lines of enlargements. Now, again, a little bit tricky because I'm kind of working um, fairly awkwardly on this. But hopefully you can see that I can just kind of draw my line along here. OK, you need maybe a, I mean, I use these sort of green pens for these sorts of things, but maybe you need just a, a sharp pencil or something like that. OK, and hopefully you'll be able to draw the lines of enlargement in. Now, they are a guideline. Um, if you use this kind of idea of moving by vectors, then hopefully you'll be able to kind of make sure that your lines and your new points match. OK, so let's have a look at this one. All right, this is A. OK, scale factor two. Well, at the moment I've gone along one and up one. So I'm going to go along two. And up two. And there it is right in the middle there. OK. All right. So it's going to overlap with the uh, original shape. OK. So we've gone along three and up one. So if you like what I'll do just for the purposes of today, if I say B is um, three and one, 
and I'm going to multiply it by a scale factor of 2, so it's going to equal 6 and 2. OK, so along 3, then 6, then up 2, and there it is. OK, so that's going to be B1 or B, uh, B prime. And then the very last one is, uh, we'll call it C. OK, so C, well, how have I got to C? I've gone along 2 and I've been up 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2 and 4, I'm going to multiply that by 2. I'm going to get 4 over 8. OK, so I'm going to go along 4 and I'm going to move up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And there you go. It's Thankfully, it's actually sitting exactly on the lines of enlargement as I drew them. OK, so let's now just put in the shape itself. OK, there's 1 and there's 2. Oh, gosh, it's so awkward is this sort of thing, but hopefully you'll get the idea. It is a bit of an overlap on this particular one, but that is my new shape. OK, so I hope this particular video has been useful to you. It's a little bit trickier than perhaps you might think it would be, um, but hopefully it's been useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.